Hi, I'm Kevin Worrell. I'm going to have to say, welcome to my studio. I had a friend come over the other day and he walks in and he goes, this is a nice studio you got here. I always thought it was your shop, but I guess it's a little small for a shop. All right, I hope you enjoy this review. As promised, my review of the Galaxy 1644 by Nova. I really do like the lathe. Uh, it is a much smaller lathe than my uh, American Robust, which I have a review on that also. The American Robust I have up in my we're snowbirds, so I have a, a lathe up north and I have a lathe down here in the south. But this one I bought off of Craigslist. Uh, you've got to keep looking. You really have to keep looking all the time because there isn't a lot of lathes, good lathes that come up. But this one I paid $1,700 for. The actual retail price is $28.99 plus tax. So that much is quite a big difference between the American Beauty, which cost me, well, the new one cost 11500 ducked out like I had it. But I just want to show you this. Um, this is the tailstock. Uh, one of the things about the tailstock, and I'm going to tell you the things I don't like and the things I like. It will not stay. No matter what I do, I have to hit it to get it to stay. Otherwise, it's just not going to stay in position. The um, rest or the, the banjo here is actually a replacement because I couldn't get the banjo to stay with the one that came with it. And the banjo we have on here now is actually a one-way. This is a one-way. I had to do some alterations. I had to cut this down and do other things to get it to work. But this one locks better. It actually locks so well that it's hard to unlock. But that's but the difference in price and what we spent on for a lathe is crazy. This is a tilting headstock. One of the things I gotta tell you is that I'm in a one car garage. In my one car garage, this lathe has to stay right where it is at all times or I can't pull my car in. I mean, when I get done with the day, I gotta make sure this is in so this doesn't hit the car, all right? So that's how close and high, how tight I have my shop. But what this does, it gives you the opportunity to be able to do your outboard working by just, and I use this a lot. Wait for it to click into place, lock into place, and then I work off the side. Well, now I can stand right in front of my, my work, and it's the same as working off the end of the robust. I actually asked my wife about getting a robust, and then I don't know how I fit it in here, how I get it to work, because a lot of what they do, because the headstock does not tilt, has to be worked off the end. Well, I don't have room off the end. I'm going to put this back in position there. Oh. As long as that fell, this, you should get one of these. If you're going to do any kind of amount of turning, some kind of mass system that gives you fresh air makes a big difference. Uh, the lathe itself, it comes in a one, one and three quarter horse. I put it up to a two, 220, uh, which gives me 2.3 horsepower. I do a lot of larger turns, 16 inches, 15, you know, whatever is best I can get on here. So I'm using a little bit higher uh, horsepower if I can get it. You can adjust, there's a manual, uh, uh, yeah, computer terminal in here that lets you go in and adjust the different aspects of the motor drive itself. But it goes from 100 to 5,000 RPMs. So I'm telling you, it, it gives you what you need. This weighs 436 pounds. My American Beauty weighs 630 pounds, so it has a lot more weight to it. The other one, this one, I actually bolted to the floor. Two reasons, to give me the, the extra weight, so when I'm throwing out of, out of turn bowls on it, that it's not gonna be shaking and walking around in my shop, which I've done quite a bit of. And the other thing is, is that I have it in position where it's not gonna hit my car. So I know that it, where it sits is fine. All my tools are lined up right over top of it. This is plenty of distance from, from where I work, so I don't have to worry about the sex there, but everything is right where I need it. The lathe itself, uh, when we went to pick it up, the guy told us you're gonna need a pickup truck to get it. The only way you're gonna get it is with a pickup truck or some kind of trailer. Well, I had a Subaru Forester, and I went online and found out how you had to take this all apart. This is real simple. There's four, four screws on the back side over here that come apart and four screws back here. Tailstock slides off, the uh, banjo slides right off the end, and the headstock slides off right off the end. The heaviest part of the whole thing, I don't know what the heaviest, but the most awkward part of it, 
is this headstock, when you slide off the end of it, all your weight's right here, all right? So you gotta be real careful with that. But then you take the bed and the two sides. My wife and I, so just my wife and I, were able to move this and put it and load it in our car. The other guy didn't help us at all. Uh, one of the things I did do, and I stole this from my American Beauty, is I built a shelf for the backside. There's actual uh, screws, threaded spots inside here that you can bolt that right into, but I like that system. But nice, nice lathe. I gotta tell you, when you're spending over $11,000 for a lathe versus $1,700 for a lathe, you can't beat this. You really can't beat it. It, it does a great job. Um, all your speed controls are right here. It's it automatically comes up at 500. I have presets at 250, 500, 750, and 10, uh, 1,020. Uh, and then if you hit the buttons again, it all, it doubles it up as it goes. But it has reverse. Uh, that's everything I need. This is your actual speed dial. If you push it in, it goes up either 50 or 100, and then once you get over 1,000, it'll go up 200 at a time. But $1,700. How can you go wrong? How can you go wrong for seventeen hundred dollars, right? But even if it's at twenty eight hundred and yeah, twenty eight ninety nine, so twenty nine hundred bucks to purchase a lathe that's going to be able to do this. It is an inch and a quarter by well, yeah, inch and a quarter inch uh, threaded with a eight teeth per inch. This is the exact same size as my American Beauty, so I can bring all my tools, put them on here, and all my tools back and forth. And so I, that that works out great for me. All right, I enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate you.